So I'm Gillian Annabel, I'm Professor of Transport and Energy and we're here at the Institute for Transport Studies at the University of Leeds. My research is all about transport and mobility and energy. So the transport sector is responsible for around a quarter of the emissions that we produce in this country, about a third of the energy that we use. So I look specifically at where in the transport system that energy is used, in terms of the vehicles that use it, in terms of the types of journeys, passenger journeys, that are most responsible for using and demanding that energy. My research, I would say, all the way through has been funded by EPSRC and to an extent ESRC to the extent of about sort of 80% of, of the research that I've done, the other 20% being directly into policy and government departments funded in, in, by that route. So it's been incredibly important for me. Net zero has to be delivered everywhere. No one, can, no one can shirk their responsibility and that means that every single local authority, every geographical area is battling with the same dilemmas of how do we do this, how do we get there. So some of the most exciting research is looking at different local areas and, and looking at what their capacity is for change, what the particular technologies are better suited to those areas because the solutions aren't the same everywhere and understanding how to actually create change at a very local level, which when you add it all up is, is going to get us to where we need to go. The biggest challenges in transport are that we have millions and millions of vehicles still running on fossil fuels. So globally, 98% of the transport system, of all movements that happen in vehicles across the globe, are fueled by fossil fuels. 98% and we're in 2022 and we've known about climate change for decades. Getting that fossil fuel out of the system for all those different vehicles is a huge challenge. The emphasis is on, is on electric vehicles mainly, particularly for passenger vehicles and we need that, there's absolutely no doubt about it. But we also know from all the modelling we've done that that is not enough, that is not going to get us where we need to get to fast enough because of how long it takes to swap out all those fossil fuel vehicles. So the biggest challenge is that we have to reduce the amount that we travel, not just the vehicles that we're travelling in. I think the most important next step is at the policy level. Businesses aren't going to change and individuals aren't going to change if they don't have the incentives and the structures and the infrastructures around them with which to change. So for me, it's getting policymakers to understand and sign up to the notion that we need to reduce the amount that we travel, not just change the vehicles that we're travelling in.